Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties, and today I want to show you how to make these stacked words um, and save them as an SVG in Inkscape, and then you can import them into um, Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Studio or whatever you use to cut them out. Uh, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to kind of move this down. We'll use it to look at later. Okay, so um, you do need Inkscape for this. It's a free download. Um, I will link to it in the comments or in the description so that you can get that. Um, I use it for almost all of the designing that I do because it's free and it's awesome. Okay, so some things to keep in mind here for your um, words. Let me ungroup this real quick so you can kind of see what we're doing here. They are cut. They are separate words that you will stack together. And the reason it's like this is so that you can make them three different colors if you want that um, you know, colored look there. So you need to find a good print font that's going to allow you to get this look that we're going for. So first of all, you're going to come over here to your, um, to your menu bar and you're going to click this A, which is your text then tap onto your screen and just type in whatever you want. I think we had good vibes. And it's going to pull it up in whatever font you used last or just, you know, the default font for um, Inkscape. So you will need to change your font. So while you're still in this text editor here, you've got to be in this to be able to change your font. You're going to come up here. The font that I use is called um, Hank Rounded. I really like this one for my stacked Word um, SVG files. But an issue that I have with this is there's too much space in between the letters. So I'm going to, um, actually I've already done this, it remembered from the last time. When I started this, it was at zero for the letter spacing. So you can see how far apart that was. But I came back up here and I put it into negative 11 for the letter spacing and it put everything a little closer together for me. So if you don't like how far apart your letters are, just come up here. This right here, if you hover it, it says spacing between letters. This is your letter spacing. You can increase, decrease it however much you want. Let's say if I took this down to 20. Now let's go negative 30. You can see it's going to get real close together. So just play with that wherever you want it to be. I happen to like the negative 11 for this font, and it will change per font. So um, if you want this font, like I said, it's Hank Rounded. I got it from Creative Fabrica, and I will link to that as well. Okay, once you have your text in, that's all it is. If you look down here, hold on, let me select my word. It just says text. Well, we can't really do anything with a text when we're trying to make an SVG. We have to make this a path, which will give us nodes, which will tell the machine to cut. So when it's selected, I want you to come to Path and Object to Path. Now if you look down here, we have group of nine objects in a layer. And if I click these nodes, you can see each little square is where it's going to have your machine cut. So that's what we want. Um, and then we need to kind of make this one, see it's all different. If I click into it, each one of these are separate. I need this all to be one cohesive thing. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to draw my box around these. And I'm just going to move them over. Um, let me undo that real quick. I'm going to use my arrows to move them over so it stays even. I don't want the bottoms of my things unaligned. So I um, narrowed the space in between the words just a little bit. And now I'm going to drag my box around everything. So now you can see each individual letter is highlighted. And I'm going to come to Path. And I'm going to hit Union. And now if I try to click into this, it's all... All of my nodes are there. It's not individual letters. Okay, so here, that's our beginning. We want to um, duplicate this. We're going to need this again. So hit Control D. You're going to get another one, and you can just drag it off to the side, and you don't need to worry about that yet. 
Okay, for this one, we need to create that, um, you know, kind of shadowy layer. So while it is selected, I want you to come to Path, Linked Offset. Now you see if I scroll over, I get this little red outline, and I've got this diamond up here. You can drag your diamond if you would like to make um, your letters thicker, or you can hit Control and the right parenthesis and just keep hitting it until you get it however big you want it to be. And that is where I would like mine to stop. You'll notice when you do this, your first word is still in there. If you don't see it, trust me, it's in there. Just go pull it out and delete it. You don't need it anymore. This is now all you need. Uh, you want to duplicate this as well, so hit Control D, and you'll see why we're doing all this duplicating later. Um, it is important. We do need to do it. Okay, so now I've got good vibes. My base letters, I've got good vibes, my shadow. I'm going to change the color of this um, just so that we can see it a little bit better. I'm going to put it on top. I'm going to select both of these, and I'm going to come to Align. Um, your stuff might not be over here. If you don't see this Align over here, you can find it right up here in your top menu. Uh, when Align pulls up, I want you to center it vertically and center it horizontally. So they are directly on top of each other, just the way they need to be. Come in here and click your word. Duplicate it again. I know it's a lot of duplicating. There's a reason. Okay, so we've got our duplicated copies up here. We've got our words that we're working with right here. Drag a box around both of them. And then come to Path and Difference. Voila! There you go. You have got... Um, You've got your first one done. Okay, now to get the cutout, we're gonna take our next Good Vibes. We're gonna duplicate it, Control D, stick it back up there. Okay, I would like to center these, I'm dragging my box, center, and now I can decide just how far up I want this bottom layer to cut into the top layer. So you'll see down here um, how it's all cut. I had to decide exactly where I wanted that. And there's a few different things you want to consider when you're deciding where to put it. Um, let me show you a, a couple different things. Oh, hold on. Okay. Um, if I put it here, for instance, and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out of that. So we put our box, path, Difference. Okay, the problem with that is I have this little blob here and I have this little blob here and I can click in and just delete these nodes by selecting them and hitting the backspace button. And they, they do go away when you do that. Um, but it's not going to be as clean of a look as if you just don't get those to begin with. So let me undo what I did there. Okay, so since I don't want those little blobs, I'm going to move this up a little higher. And then I'm just going to test it and see. I'm going to have something going on here. Let me look at it and see what it looks like. Select everything, path, difference. Okay, I don't like these little tiny kind of I don't know, cutouts right there. So I'm going to do it again. Undo difference. I'm going to move this guy up a little bit more. And I can tell you, if you can see spaces in between your words, you're probably not going to like it. It's probably not going to be the look you're going for. Uh, I'm going to put it right there. There is a tiny little space here, but I don't think that's going to matter. Okay, select, path, difference, much better. I don't have anything to delete. I don't have any weird cuts of vinyl that's going to lift and stick and be weird. Okay, so there's my top. Okay, I need to bring in my shadow layer again and duplicate it. Bring my main word in, duplicate it. Again, duplicate is just Control D. And then I'm going to line these up. Um, this one's kind of stuck behind, so you can just come up to Object and Rise 
and it'll come on top. We want to center these again, so we've selected both. Come over to Align or up here to Align. Um, center vertically, horizontally. It puts my word directly in the middle, and then I can path difference. Now you see why we keep making these duplicates because we keep using them. So this one is going to fit right into that one. And if you want to make sure it's perfect, you select them both, you center them, they are perfectly together. So that we can see it a little better, let's change the color of this one. Okay, we're going to do it again. So we need to duplicate our shadow again, Control D, stick it up here, get that one out of our way. I'm going to move this one off also because we're not working with it yet. Select them, center them, and move this bottom one up until your gaps are kind of gone. Okay, I'm going with that. Select, path, difference, there I am again, I've got those two. One more time, we do not need to duplicate anything this time because this is our last one. So we can just take these, center, center, path, difference, there we go. So if we take all of this, group it together and center it, it's going to look perfect. I mean, this is just exactly what we were wanting. Uh, let me move this middle one up just a little bit. And what colors did we have down here? Uh, darker to lighter pinks. Okay. Okay. And then I want to move this one up so that there's no space in between my words. So that's our stack. Um, when you're done with that, you want to select all of it and group it together. You can either hit Control G or you can come to Object and Group and it'll group it all together for you so that it stays together. And then, um, you know, whatever saying that you're doing, you're going to want your bottom little section there. So come over here again and get your text. Click into your screen. If you just hit text and then start typing, you're going to get this weird, what? So you hit text and then tap on your screen. And again, it's going to use the last font that I had, but that's not the one I want. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to find this Modellus. Again, I got that from Creative Fabrica and I will link to it. So you notice when I put my, um, my font in, it's showing me exactly where it's all going to cut if, if I were just to do this. And we know we don't want that. If we were in design space, we would need to weld all of this together to get rid of these cut lines. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this text and you're going to come to path, object to path. And you're like, yay, it got rid of them, but it didn't. <laughs> if I show you this different view over here, if I show you my outline view, you can see it's still going to cut in this is where everything's actually going to cut. Let me go back to a normal view over here. So to fix that, we need to union this path or weld it. So again, you want to click. And guys, you just keep clicking in until you get the single letter. My nodes are on. Until you get the single letter highlighted. Then you want to highlight each one. So you can either drag your box around and make sure they are all highlighted, or you can do one at a time. Click this one, holding shift, click all the rest while you're still holding shift. Click them all. And then path, union. And now, if I show you my outline view, you can see that is a united, welded, all one cut path. <laughs> Okay, and what color did we do that? We did that kind of a blue. Let's see here. Okay. There that is. Um, if I click it again, I'm going to get these rounded arrows. I can you know, curve it however I want. I can make it bigger. Whatever I want to do with it. That's that. 
Again, we want to group everything together, so drag your box around, control G to group, or option object group. Um, <clears throat> now, when it comes time to save your file, you want it to be the size of this little page that's on here. So just take everything, size it down. Um, if you are getting something wonky when you go to size it, it's because your screen isn't locked. If I unlock this, and I go to size it, see it gets like all crazy-fied. Just come lock your screen. And then when you size it, it'll keep its scale. Then I want you to come to File, Save As, name it what you want, and hit Save. And it just saved an SVG for you like an actual SVG file. Anytime you come to file and save or file and save as, it's going to save as an SVG. There is no other option over there but SVG. So you can come into Cricut and you can upload or Silhouette Studio. This works with either. It works with um, shortcuts a lot. It works with anything. It's an SVG file. I come find it. What did I call it? Good Vibes? There, that's the PNG I saved of it earlier. There's my SVG. Open. Oh, <laughs> I didn't delete this stuff down here. So, um, yeah, that was the original one that I was showing you guys. But you can see there it is up there. If I hit save. And I just go insert it into my project. Let's just make sure everything works right. Um, it's all grouped together right now. I'm going to ungroup this. And I'm going to delete all this stuff I had from before. So now, here is my cut file. Yay! And again, I can ungroup it. And I'm going to get each layer separately. Awesome, right? Um, there are a couple little clicks up in here. If you want to delete those, uh, just hit this contour down here. Go find the little, why is that so jimungus? Sorry, I'm making up words over here too. Jimungus is not a word. Okay, so there's that little blip. You can click it and it'll go away. All gone. Same thing here. If I come to contour and I make it a normal size and I click this little blip and then I X out, it went away. So, that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, you can make whatever you want with that. I've seen so many different um, Christmas and Valentines and whatever you want. You can make your name, um, you know, hashtags. Have fun. That's how you make these stacked letters. All right, we'll see you next time. Thanks.